Good morning guys, this is Busmaster99 coming at you from Rhode Island and today I'm going to be presenting a review of the 2016 Buick Enclave. Here's what the key looks like. You have your ignition key, then you have your remote fob, whatever you'd like to call it. This does have remote start, so you press lock and then you push and hold this for two seconds. It even says so on the back, but this wears off after a few years. Let's go ahead and Take a walk around the vehicle with the lights on. LED side turn signal mirrors. LED accented xenon headlights. They are also by xenon system, meaning that this functions as both the low and high beam, as opposed to having a separate halogen headlight for that. This is built on the same chassis as the Chevrolet Traverse. Here's what it looks like with the high beams on. You can kind of see the reflection. It's hard to see it because it's daytime. Anyway, let's go ahead and shut that off and start the engine. Just flick the key to start the engine. When it comes to the transmission, the only option available is a six speed automatic with the option to limit your gears or shift manually if desired. Just put it in low and then use the selectors on the knob to limit your gear range. In this case, it would be the exact same as drive if you had an L6. But if you wanted to limit a few gears out, you could just hit the button a few times. You're in four, three, two, and then all the way down first lock. This also does have a backup camera with guidance lines that adjust when you turn the steering wheel. Parking brake is located right down here. And if you want to release it, all you have to do is that. Just put your foot on it and press and then just release. Same if you want to set it. It's completely foot operated. Personally, if I was going to have a foot parking brake, I would have a hand release located somewhere around here like it is in the Ford F-150. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that I like about this car. I like that it has a wood steering wheel. It also has a heated steering wheel for use in the cold. It's also got the Xenon headlights, which I talked about earlier. It's got a dual zone automatic climate control. These buttons here are for the settings on the screen right here. So you press this to enter the menu. And then you press the check mark, oopsie daisy. 
Excuse me for just a second. Okay, that was a close call there. So I was hitting the check mark instead of the list, so yeah, it's because I was focused on the camera more. So you have your auto door locks, auto door unlocks, so that's when you put it in park and then the doors unlock automatically for you. Likewise, auto door lock is when you put it in gear and take off. Remote door lock. Exit lighting. So you can change it from 30 minutes up to 2 seconds or you can have it completely off to save your battery. Park tilt mirrors. So this is if you lock the car, it will fold the mirrors in, I think. I could be mistaken. But I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that back off. Because I think it says tilt, which means move down. Just like how, for example, my car tilts the passenger mirror down when I shift into reverse. This car has 38,070 miles on it. Let's see, what else do I like about this car? Oh yeah, it has a beautifully lit analog clock here. You do have a small glove box up here next to your big speaker. Now, on to the things I don't like. I don't like this headlight switch, and this goes with all General Motors vehicles nowadays. So you see that, how it just went back to auto right there. See, if you're a guy like me who has to, or excuse me, if you're a guy like me who likes to leave their lights in the off position all the time, well then you pretty much gotta do that every time you start the car. Because even though you move the switch to this position and then it pushes it back, it does disable the automatic light control, but it only does it for as long as the ignition is on. And as soon as you turn the ignition off, you have to repeat the same procedure when you turn the ignition back on the next time. So that's just something I've always hated about GM, is that um, they don't allow users to completely turn off their headlights and leave them off. I mean, obviously, I turn the lights to the on position at night, but, yeah, it's just a, a battery saver that I wish this car had. Oh, well. Another thing is that this instrument cluster, it looks like it goes back a really long time, especially the top part of it. It looks like it date, uh, looks like the top part dates back to 2001. Luckily, this is an outgoing... General Motors model. I do like the chrome accenting around the vents. It's got an automatic tailgate and you have two options for heated seats. You have back only and you have back and rear end. The driver's window is fully automatic. The passenger's is only automatic down, as you can tell.
This does have a sunroof. May not be one touch automatic, but at least you get it. Interior lights. When you push the dome off, that keeps these from coming on when you pull the key out or open the doors. This is to adjust your screen brightness. Guess that only works at night. This is to turn your ambient lighting at night off. Can't really see it right now, but this pretty much does nothing during the day. But you would notice it at night because there is some ambient lighting going throughout the, uh, above the wood up here and in the back too. So anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and turn the vehicle off. I also forgot to mention that I like that it has two-person memory. And the button in between is the easy exit button. So if you push that, it moves the driver's seat pretty far back. So in the back here, you also do have some wood. Climate controls in the rear. That's to adjust your temperature. And this is to adjust your three different zones for the rear. Power outlet. I'm not going to say cigarette lighter because I'm not a smoker. I never will be. I think it's disgusting that people still smoke nowadays. It's just my opinion. And, well, yeah, there you go. There's a couple USB slots. So if you were going to charge your iPhone, for example, or your Android, depending on what you have, I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. But a lot of people I know use an iPhone. So that's what I usually think of. I used to have an iPhone. And then this video is going to be a little off topic. But I decided against buying the iPhone 6 in 2015 because of the bend gate. So I decided to switch to Samsung. Best move I ever made. Now, unfortunately, we do have some damage, and we noticed this prior to rental. Got some touch-up paint here, and we've got a little bit of a dent going on here. So, someone had a little bit of an accident with this car. You can also see a little scratch on the headlight lens. Anyway, before I close this video out, I almost forgot to show underneath the hood. So what you are looking at here is GM's 3.6 VVT direct injection V6. And I think this puts out slightly over 300 horsepower. I'm not sure of the exact number, but I think it's like 306 or something. I'm not too much of a GM nerd or whatever. Because if you know me, I'm a Mercedes guy. But anyway, here's where you can jump start your car. The battery dies. I think what you do is you pop um, yeah, you pop this off from the bottom. It's really hard to do, though. But I'm not going to do it, because I can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> right side of the car looks good. It's got a Buick badge behind the back door. Goes for the other side, too. Of course, because it would be weird to just have one badge. Well, 
There's some more damage. There's a scratch right above the badge here. Takes regular unleaded gas. I think it's like 19 average MPG or something. So, not the best in the world, but to be expected with a full-size SUV. There is also power lumbar right here. This moves your seat forwards and backwards. And then this piece right here moves this portion of the seat forwards and backwards. Window locks, door locks and unlocks, mirror controls, press this to adjust the driver's mirror and this to adjust the passenger's mirror. And that's just about it. Stay tuned for more. Peace out.